folks. It's 7.24 a.m. Let's go to Ohio. Yeah. Hi folks, we made it across the border into uh, the state of New York and then we got lost because my sketchy offline map system took me the wrong way but like also the right way because I went the wrong way and then now we're like, I don't know, now we're at Tim Hortons because uh, Canada but in America. Uh, check back in the next update when I get lost again. Hi. Bye. Hi folks, um, I don't know where I am but I heard a noise and like it just took me there, um, but we're at a gas station. I actually don't even know what state I'm in. I could be in Pennsylvania, I could be in New York, but before I waste any more of my time, let's get some gas to avoid the generalized anxiety of running out of gas and no idea where we're going to get it. But we're here now. Okay, bye. Chat soon. Oh, sorry. Hello folks. Are my eyes red? I can't see a little. Oh, I look like I'm dying. Uh, it's currently, what is the time? I have to poop again. It's currently 1.36. We've made it to Ohio, uh, somewhere in the middle of nowhere. There's a red truck here. There's a man in a plaid shirt with a vending machine treat. He's looking at me probably because I'm talking to myself, but it's okay. Um, I'm going to go poo slash pee slash take a break and stretch my legs because that's what Yahoo Answers told me to do. Um, peace, love, and tranquility. There's like a 250 kilometers left. Have a good day. I'm not gay. Bye. Oh, you guys are already here? Did you guys fly? Oh, must be nice. Must be nice to fly. <laughs> Not spend seven hours in a car alone talking to yourself. Let's check out this view. Um, did you already check out the room, guys? While you were here? <laughs> Yo, if you zoom in right there, there's a good view of McDonald's. <laughs> Yo, sick view, Pickering Fit. Someone's at the door. Just kidding, there's no friends. Um, I'm actually quite insane. Um, there's a part of the story that I didn't tell you guys about how I just spent two and a half hours in the in the lobby. I got here, as you guys probably know, at um, like 4.15. Yeah, it's 7.02 right now. I just got to the room now. No comment as to why that happened, other than the fact that I'm actually going insane. Um, I've had 37 calories today, two coffees and one orange Pico tea. And I have to poop my pants, but there's no, yeah. Um, let's check the room out. There's a bed, uh, there's a TV, uh, there's a mirror to take, sh oh, that's just like a nice little selfie mirror. Um, there's a bathroom. I like the artwork. Hey look, it's a tired Pickering Fitness. Hello, hello. Can you see the sweat stains through my shirt? Focus on my face, light me up fam. Uh, welcome to the, to the, to the video. Massage bar, lotion, conditioner, shampoo, mic makeup remover, um, sick shower. Just kidding, it sucks. I'm the most miserable person ever. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a girl to iron my sheets for me. Just kidding. I hate people. I wonder if the Holy Bible is in here. Welcome to America. It is. You want to know what the scariest thing is though? This sketchy closet here. I've never really been one for... I'm fucking actually scared of that. Like that's... The room is fine. But this sketchy closet... I don't like it. Stop it. Take it away. Find me a room without it. I'm gonna put my food away. I'm gonna take a shower. Charge my phone. And probably go to the grocery store. To buy some Advil for my fucking headache that I've had since 7 a.m. Cross border headaches. Didn't even have to declare that shit at the border. I was like, yeah, I have a headache. Please, please proceed to secondary inspection for your headache. Yeah, right. I wish they would have done that. Give me some damn Advil. All right, bye folks. Peace, love, and tranquility. Just kidding. Can someone tell me why this hotel actually has like, like look at that leg. Like, whoa, Pickering Fitness, do you train legs? Like apparently he actually does. Like, wow, fucking competing at the Auto Classic. Check out the back, too. You boys want to see that shit? Oh, Pickering Fitness. I'm going to have to buy the hotel room for the lighting, boys. All right, shower time. 
Welcome back, folks. Uh, it's me, it's Pickering Fitness. Um, this is a weird way to hold the camera. Focus on my face, thank you. We're gonna go, is that, that's just weird. Uh, we're gonna go and, uh, to Kroger. Apparently that's what you guys shop at these days. We're gonna get some monster energy drinks. So I can give one to Shred Bundy and Glenn Gillen, and then we can scream on camera like, ah, opening it. And I'm gonna get some Chipotle, because I feel like I should eat some Chipotle. And I'm probably gonna get some Advil and some melatonin and some other shit that I probably need. So, let's go that way. Check out this lighting though. Pickering Finn is looking like an angel. Light me up, fam. Bye. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys this. Um, nothing against Americans, but like as soon as I got to the States, I started missing Canada. I don't know. I don't think I would ever in my life want to live here. Nothing wrong with it. Actually, there's a lot wrong with it, but like not in that sense. I just. I just miss Canada. Like, Canada's so simple. I feel like I'm in a prison here. How do you guys live in America? Seriously. Hashtag, you're triggered now. Sorry. Yo, the smell of this car gives me PTSD from driving for seven hours. <laughs> I never want to smell this car again after I, like, get home. Yeah. I got, like, a lot of issues, apparently. PTSD, anxiety, depression, OCD, all of the Ds, all the Os, all the Gs. Uh, peace, love, and tranquilities. Yo, boys. Boys, focus on my face. Focus on my face. I know it's dark in America, but focus on my face. A small town Canadian boy actually found his way through the Columbus outback to Kroger. Great success. How to be the sketchiest guy in Kroger. Step one, get a camera. Step two, buy the following items really sketchily. Ibuprofen, melatonin, and monster energy drinks. Some of which reduce pain, make you go to sleep, but also keep you up at night. They probably thought I was making meth. They were correct. Step three. Pay $18 in change at the self-checkout. And then you've become the crazy guy. Chat soon. Oh my goodness, folk, that's two for two. I would make the best American deal with the fact that it's so zoomed in on my face. I just went from Kroger to Chipotle with my offline map system. Wow, so dependable. Except for those four times on the way here that I got completely lost, ended up on the wrong interstate, and wasted seven hours going the wrong way. I'll be back with my food. <clears throat> oh, hi guys, I got lost again, because if you make one wrong move, if you make one wrong turn in America, you literally just end up back on the highway. Just going to who knows where. So we're back. If you want to see what I was talking about before about how I'm apparently making meth, well, here we go. If we just like open up, we open up our sketchy bag here, we have all of the things that you need to make meth. But we're gonna put these in the Frigidora, which is full and doesn't actually hold my containers because America. So we have to put them this way. But hopefully the boys will like their monsters or else I wasted money, which aren't even that cheap. I would come in here expecting to pay like, actually they were kind of cheap, Never mind. They were like $2 instead of like fucking $4. I mean, they don't fit, that's what she said. All right, what else do we have? Nothing, we have our Chipotle. Uh, yeah, Chipotle, right there, right there. I can't even talk, Chipotle. Also, I just realized how like ghetto and budget my videos are. You know how like, if you're like Ryan Dangler, you're like, all right, what's up guys? Yeah, we're just gonna get some food. Pickering Fitness is like, what's up dudes? Uh, I got lost, cool, chat soon. But that's what you love guys, the ghetto-ness. All right, bye. How to be a clinically depressed introvert in three easy steps. One. Book an overpriced but comfortable hotel room all for yourself. Two, don't socialize with anyone. Drive seven hours alone in a car, listening to the sound of Grant Cardone's voice tell you how to be a better person. Uh, three, leave the hotel, sorry. Step three, take a shower and get ready as if you're going to socialize. Let me put this down for a sec there, fam. Step four. Leave only to purchase food and things to help you sleep at night. Return immediately to the hotel room. Eat in peace and quiet with love and tranquility as well. Don't talk to anyone. Don't think positive. 
complete. Yo, the good news though is that she gave me guac, but she didn't charge me extra for guac. So I'm balling. Just kidding, I'm not balling, but like, in Canada, it's like $11. Here it was like $6. That's a win. Oh, hi folks. Before I procrastinate eating my food even further, we're gonna roll up this, roll up the rim from upstate New York. See if I won. Please play again. Please go fuck yourself. Thanks for, can't even win, ever. Where's the lid? I hate roll up the rim. It sucks. I'm pissed off. Is there a garbage can in this hotel or is the garbage can my life? <laughs> a girl smiled at me when I went downstairs in the lobby. I thought it was weird to see an American smile at me. Just realized she's actually Canadian. Good to know that only Canadians are happy and smiling. Maybe she knew I was Canadian. That's cool. Okay, that's all guys for the next five minutes. Bye. <laughs>
That's not open. This is exactly what I talked about. Look at this artsy background though. Welcome to Columbus. Uh, it's like Canada, except no one lives here. Why are we so like lit up, fam? Welcome guys, I'm a vlogger. Look at me. Why is my camera like all not in a good way? All right, let me use my brain now. Oh, what the flipping flapjacks on a freaky Friday? Where are we going? 100% lost. Literally, have oh, I know where we are now. Oh, isn't this where I was supposed to park? Is that the shitty, uh, the shitty comedy, comedy place? Oh, yo, we're gonna find our way, boys. Look, it's uh, Columbus, Columbus. Why are we so lit up? We're not lit up. All right, check in soon when I'm lost again. Hi people, this is present day Pickering Fitness. Just wanted to step in here. I'm re-watching this footage for the first time. I didn't actually know that Glenn Gillen knew who I was when I first went up. Did he just say Pickering? Wow, okay, back to the video. But he knows me. I look familiar? I didn't know you <laughs> I, look familiar? I brought them for you. Oh my God. I brought them for you. I just buy a pair. Like, yeah, I will, I will. It's my custom rise pants. <laughs> they both are Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I came from Toronto. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Are you coming to Toronto? I came to see you. To actually see you. Yeah. Crazy. I drove. You want me to? You drove? Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. Yeah, I drove. Because the tickets are so expensive. present day Pickering Fitness here again. Um, this part of the clip, I actually didn't know it was on film, but now I'm actually super grateful that this is actually on video because this is like probably like the highlight. Like my hard work of just like making a video, making people laugh pays off because they're like, here's some free joggers. Love it. Pickering Fitness doesn't often show emotion, but look at the happiness on that little boy's face. Pickering Fitness's dream come true. Okay. 
There we go. Killing it, man. Yeah. You like this vlogging? Yeah, yeah. I want to put this whole clip in. I'm just gonna have a face one. Alright, so updates are. I'm tired, man. Already? You only started the video. You want me to outro the video? No, outro now. I heard. Alright, we need to end this clip because it's terrible. See you later. Dude, you should do it. Yeah, like a cere like I'll have like a ceremonial. You should do it on the funeral. So guys, if you make your own custom joggers, then Rise is nice enough to actually give you joggers. And they're even in child sizes for a child like me. So we are on the prowl for a wild poly D fit. Wild poly D fit. Surprise, motherfucker. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh man, you really are sure. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hey. How's it going? Pickering Fitness in the flesh. I am. Unfortunately, yeah. Let's get it really Outside. zoomed in. That's the grind, baby. Typical. It's awesome. Yeah. No, Sick clip, Pickering Fitness. Hey guys, say some words of wisdom. Same. <laughs> Pali D, say some words of wisdom. Same. Say some words of wisdom. Start what? You <laughs> ruined it. You ruined it. <laughs> Say some words of wisdom. Stay consistent. All right. Can't have a good every night. Guys, the tips are the tips are too helpful. I was hoping for something funny. <laughs> Just bye. Hey, Polly D, do you like crowds? Absolutely not. Same. Why aren't you focused on my face? Focus on my face. Light me up, fam. There we go. Hey, look, it's a crowd of people. Yay. <laughs> I love crowds of people. How do I get this like next level? Holly D. I have nothing else to say. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> How do you feel about crowds that why aren't you focusing on my face? <laughs> Be in focus, Bully Look at that. Hey. Good job, Cannon. Alright, let's go. Hello, Bradley Both Martin. Sides of the blue Both sides of the blue pillar. Both sides of the blue pillar. Both sides of the blue pillar. Hey look, let's get a selfie with Bradley Martin. Holly yeah. D, the temperature just rose 15 degrees in here. Yes, yeah, it's a degrees. Alright, give it up for all the sports that are here. And the newest member of the ISB Pro League, Morgan. It's Glenn. What's happening? <laughs> it's your boy. Do you feel me? Hi, folks. My back hurts. Polly, does your back hurt? Does your back hurt? A little bit. <laughs> I haven't slept. Hopefully, I don't die driving home tomorrow. <laughs> uh, everything I say is funny, apparently. If only all my friends were this this supportive of my humor. Hi, future Pickering Fitness again. Sorry for the red lips. I had some cayenne pepper for dinner. Um, this is a clip from Paul because I came up trying to film Paul meeting Jeff Nippard. And Jeff Nippard apparently was more like in the mood to meet me, which is actually cool because I was just filming and he's like, yo, I know you as you'll see from the video. So like, not only did I like put forth the rise video about the pants, but like without even saying who I am. Every member of the Rise team was like, oh, it's you, Pickering Fitness. Even you, Glenn. So I'm like actually humbled that like, not only did like 
Jeff watched the video, but he knew who I was, and then he remembered that I was from Toronto and stuff. Big things coming. Check out the video of me and Jeff after. It's Paul. It's Paul E.D. Hey. hey, what? He recognizes me even though I'm just a small time cameraman. Do you? That's good, that's good, but it's about him now. <laughs> yeah. be on here too. I guess we'll get my video then. All right. Get all the videos. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. It's for him. That's cool. I thought you had something to prepare for the camera. No. I'm from Canada. He knows I'm from Toronto. He remembered. Yeah, yeah. I drove. I saw the video you did for Ryan. That was hilarious. He thought the video was hilarious. I worked so hard on it. That's good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I bought the pants and then they gave me these. I added some size. He notices my gains. My life is complete. Man, the short Canadian, just like me, you know? Represent, man. Yeah. You're gonna be in Toronto? Uh, I'm actually considering moving to Toronto again, so we could be mates. Hi folks, we're looking for the bathroom. We're lost. Don't they ask the whole bag? You'll no say. Yo, Polly D, where's the banyo? No say. <laughs> no say, exactly. Where are you? What's happening? It's me, it's Glenn, <laughs> the guy on your screen. Boom! Glenn. Hello, it's me. I'm Glenn. Person on your screen, that's me, Glenn. That's me. Yo, Polly D. Yeah. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Same. I don't really know how to vlog, but that's the point. If you, do I. <laughs> if you don't know how to vlog, everyone's so used to... Whoa, easy there with the car. Who do you think this is? Hopscotch? Yeah, All right. the vlog's gonna be so bad. <laughs> Yo, this weather is surprisingly better than uh, uh, 16 hours... Not 16, six hours ago. I was freezing. Yeah, it was cold. <laughs> Yo, does the sun ever come out in Ohio, or is it just depressing like my soul? <laughs> I haven't seen the sun since I landed here on Thursday. I haven't seen the sun since Canada. <laughs> I miss Canada. It was I mean, always Canada. Sunny in it's always sunny in Canada. You know why? Because <laughs> we're so far north that the clouds don't even come out. This is probably a lot of just wasted clips that we're probably not going to put in the video. Do you guys want to be in the video as well? <laughs> uh, exactly, exactly. Good, I'm glad. Uh, we're lost. A walk on there like a tightrope. <laughs> Pauly D, do it. Let's go, Pauly D. Yes, Pauly D. This is how, this is how friends are made. Polly D, why are you laughing at my jokes? Whoa, nice dismount. Polly D, what if I told you that I didn't actually drive here? I just Ubered and that we're actually walking. I thought you were a peasant happy before that Uber ride. That's a good point. <laughs> I took the public transit. I thought about doing that. It was like two bucks from the airport. Aeroport, I mean from the hotel. What's Jimmy John's? That sounds like a, a sandwich shop. Is it good? I've never been. There's none in Connecticut. Uh, oh, <laughs> Connecticut. One of those people. Okay. Polly D, we're lost, but we found a beautiful garden. They don't have these in Canada. Oh wait, <laughs> they have them everywhere in Canada because it's Canada. Uh, that's the door that we should go in, but it's not gonna open, right? Do you fam me? Polly D, I think we're lost. Just kidding, we're not lost. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Polly D, did you think you were gonna be in the vlog? Absolutely not. Oh dear. <laughs> this seems promising. Actually, it doesn't. We're totally lost, Polly D. <laughs> Yo, Polly D. You know how we find our car? How? Not by, not by turning the alarm on, <laughs> but looking for the license plate that says, not Ohio. It says Ontario. It says Ontario. <laughs> Are you ready, Polly D? Yeah. Feast your eyes on the whip, the Kia, the Ontario. Yo, this is the whip. <laughs> I don't know where it is, I'll show you. Fucking crowd here, come downstairs. Yeah. Downstairs, second door to your left. Oh, they moved stuff here. Like, yeah, we're here. You've never been here? No, that's my first time. Okay, well, I was here about it. It's, 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 it's an interesting place, Paul E.D. <laughs> we're gonna get this on camera. Why is it human? That's not how you. Humid it up in here? Yeah, we're underground. It gets humid. 
Man, because there's a bunch of people in here. All right, all of you, come on. I'll show you some weird shit. And so Joe busts in the room and he looked, and then he got calm and he closed the door. He's like, what's everybody talking about? And I'm like, we just chilling, bro. Yeah, we grew in the long way, bro. It's nice up here. Come on, come, come, come. Hey. I'm trying to find it. Look, they got some crazy shit. Come. This is what I'm talking about, Paul Eddie. How do I know this shit? Okay, here we go. Where are the bags at, though? Uh, I'm not sure. Ask Matt. There's just a fuckload of bottles in there. Yeah. It's a real place, Paul Eddie. It's a real Just taking a look. Just taking a look. Yeah. Yeah. It's cold though. Yeah. I think my name is on the wall somewhere. I don't know. But yeah. Call it's real. It's real life. It's a real thing. Call it Get that shit, Polly D. Get that shit. Get it. Get it. Let's go, Polly D. Let's get it. Let's get it, son. I see you. Say hi, why is the lighting so good in here? I don't know. You tell me about that lighting. Hey. You better say hi to fellow Canadians. Are you from Canada? I'm from Toronto. Am I the you're from Toronto? Yeah. Your name is? Christopher. It's me, man. I met you at the Toronto, but I gotta say hi to the Canadians here. <laughs> What's up, Canada? Yeah. Toronto represent. Yeah. Hopefully you guys watching this at the Toronto Super Show will be back there. So yeah. like May 1st, June 1st. Yeah. We'll be back there. It's good. I seen you before it gets too crowded. Yeah. So she said, no excuses. <laughs> no excuses, Polly D. No excuses. That's what greatness is. Polly D, you gonna get a sick picture down here, Polly D? We should. Your Polly D, we didn't get a video down here. We didn't get a video of where we're, where we're making meth. Let me get a zoom out action, Polly D. Let me get some zoom out action. Polly D, what do you think of, what do you think of your new home? <laughs> yeah. You like your new home, Paul Lady? It's got, it's furnished. It's got me. It's got, it comes with, it comes with a vehicle. What's hand? It's me, it's Glenn. Focus on my face. <laughs> there you go. Now we're in some sick, there we go, look at this. Paul Lady, say hi. Hi. <laughs> What's your channel name? Getting fit with Paul. Same. Hey, Paul Lady, we're lost again. Oh, shocker. It's a park. <laughs> But we don't know where we parked. <laughs> Did it? Yeah. Dude, where's my car? Hey, dude, where's uh, McDonald's? Yeah, that's a good question. Look, a Doge. Guys, a Doge. <laughs> right there. <laughs> Say hi, Doge. Orf, orf. Sick. Guys, I miss Glenn Gillen. Do you miss Glenn Gillen? Yeah, I do. What's happening? It's okay, you'll see him in the outro. Oops, did I just spoil it? Actually, spoil it. <laughs> I'm definitely not telling you guys that. I'm definitely deleting this clip for the video. Yep, not happening. Polly D, can you guess where we are? Yeah, your favorite place, McDonald's. I'm blind from that car. Thanks for shining your lights at me. Thanks for shining your lights at me! Look at 
those arches. Can we get a can we get a rack focus on that McDonald's arch? Oh, <laughs> yes, Paul D with a rack focus. <laughs> Look at that auto level. Anyways, uh, let's go inside. Paul D, you didn't tell me they played country music, gave crayons, had booths, yeah. and had no one here. Paul D, it's not focusing on my face. Paul D, this is amazing. Why didn't you tell me about American McDonald's before I came here? I should have. My life has changed. Hi folks, the Coke is better in Canada. Let's try the fries. Are you recording me? <laughs> Not even salted. I miss Canada. Apparently everything is better in Canada. Our fries are better in Canada. People, what does that say? It says bacon quarter pounder. Focus on my face. I'm pissed. Do you see me bacon on here? Didn't fucking think so. I'm going to Canada tomorrow. Maybe tonight. I hate America. Goodbye. Well, safe to say that American McDonald's? <laughs> literal trash. I'm going back to Canada as soon as possible. Peace, love, and tranquility. Hello, Polly D. Hello. How was your Uber, Polly D? It was great. Best Uber driver ever. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Five stars. Five stars. Do I get a five star rating too? No. Oh, fuck. 4.3. 4.3. What is on my screen over there? Oh, it's trying to focus on your face. Light me up, fam. It looks like you're the driver, but you're not. Because I'm the driver. <laughs> Holy D. What do we do now? I don't know. That's in the way. I have to go pee and poop. Me too. Great. It's me. It's Pickering Fitness. Do you fam me? Do you fam me? Do you fam me? Hi, it's Pickering Fitness. What's happening? Hi, folks. It's currently uh, 9, 10 a.m. I think I slept. I think I'll be fine to drive. I think we're leaving soon. So, without further ado, see you guys back in Canada, the world's best country. Chat soon. Welcome back to Canada. We didn't go home yet. We're at the gymnasium. Let's say hi to my friend. Hey, bud. Have a good workout. She okay. said, do you love me? I tell her only partly. I only love my cat and my snowboard. I'm sorry. 93, I even got it tatted on me. 2012, lady, I don't feel sorry. Hey, you know me. Without teeth, it probably would be no me, dog. Dude, some arms over there. <laughs> Subscribe to Pickering Fitness. <laughs> This guy's shredded in the middle of winter. What sorcery is this? There you go. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Since this was the Arnold Classic video, you have any thoughts on the Arnold Classic? Because I didn't even watch it. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> we were just there to experience. Yeah. So uh, I had Bonac winning, and our lovely guy over there had uh, Brandon, which I'm really happy about because the judging is a lot more fair because he was way tighter. Mm -hmm. um, which is good because now they're getting away from like blown out guts and like all that gross stuff that comes from guys who abuse stuff and yeah. can't control it. He'll say the same thing. <laughs> I speak for both of them. Hey guys, <laughs> did you miss this view? I did. Let's cue the, the national anthem right now.
Welcome home. Welcome to Canada. Um, why do I have so much energy? Is it because I'm Canadian again? And I can finally live in true peace, true prosperity? And well, on that note, my gym friends, Mrs. Slater and uh, Mr. Robin Strand, they actually gave me a gift while I was at the gymnasio. They came up and they said, we watched all your Vlogmas videos. We know you love mocha and we know you love Quest items. So they got me a, a Quest protein bar mocha chocolate chip, which actually sounds delicious, 20 grams of protein, and since I haven't actually had any protein over the last 84.5 hours, I thought what a better way to continue this extremely long video than with a review. So without further ado, got my milk over there, 1% milk, I have my protein bar, and um, let's just go, why are we so like lit up, light me up fam, um, let me breathe, um, what better, yeah, I'm tired, maybe I should, maybe I should just end the video. Just kidding. We got to do a review. So let me go into like review mode and then we can, we can get this baby started. So let me just get some composure. Ah. All right, folks, here we go. Hi folks. They're going to be reviewing a quest protein bar, mocha chocolate chip, 20 grams of protein, six fat, 24 carbohydrates, packaging green, Christmassy without the red, but I still like it. Let's open it up. A little bit sticky. That's what she said. Bar aesthetics. It looks like dog poo, but most of them did already. Sniff test. Uh, smells like caramel. A little bit of mocha, actually, I'm not gonna lie. It does kind of have a mocha smell. First bite. Okay, chewy, mocha-y. Mm -hmm. Have some beverage. Hmm, this might be a biased review. Cause I'm hungry. I'm really hungry. It's okay. Not bad, you know? It is a quest bar. Probably gonna bloat me, but it's okay. Chewy, chocolatey, mocha-y. Putting my bias of being really hungry aside, this is pretty good. I want to give it an 8 out of 10, but I'm gonna settle with a 7.99 out of 10. But definitely approved. Quest mocha chocolate chip. Love it. Hi, folks. Um... How's it going? It's 24 hours since that review video. Just want to kind of come on here and do like a, a an outro slash s synopsis or summary of my Arnold Classic experience. So first things first, anyone who I ever met at the expo, whether you were from Columbus, whether you were from somewhere else, whether you were famous, not famous, it was great to meet you. Tay, Garrett, Cam, Rachel, who else we got? Polly D, everyone who I met at the expo, indirectly or directly, that took the time out of their day to like say hi to me, that's cool. Really appreciate you um, because it shows me that like the internet and real life can come together. Check out this great lighting. Like this is why I do the outro here. Guys, uh, buy some Rise Apparel. I'm not sponsored yet. <laughs> Um, hopefully soon, which leads into the segue of the Rise people. So as you guys may know, if you watch my videos, I made a couple Rise videos and unbeknownst to me, is that the right word? Unbeknownst? I don't know where to go with it. Unbeknownst to me at the time, I didn't know that that video was going to be shared with all of the Rise team members because the weird thing is I walk up to the Rise booth, which is probably the main reason I went to the Arnold Classic. This year, there wasn't that much to see. Like last year, there was like at least five different booths of different athletes I wanted to see, but this year I pretty much just went to see Rise because of the amount of effort I put into the video and because they actually noticed it. Cause like after I did the video, they're like, wow, we were too busy watching your video to answer your DM. Uh, we sent it to the whole Rise team. So I was like, what? So when I went up there, all of them, Mark Fit, Glenn Gillen even, who said, are you pickering? And I was like, what? You didn't even watch the video. Shred Bundy, uh, Joe Delaney, Zach Ainsley, and Jeff Nippard. All of them were like, I know you, or it's Pickering Fitness, or we saw your video, it was hilarious. Do you know what that makes me feel like as a young, a young Pickering Fitness inside? Like, that's weird. What if you, what if like, and then the other, uh, on top of that, as you guys saw, like, what if you were just like with your friend trying to film your friend with a camera and then Jeff Nibbert is like, I know you, like, how would you feel? Do you fam me? But yeah, so just a big thanks to Rise for making the weekend uh, better than expected. I was expecting just to like be like, hey, what's up, Jeff? What's up, Ryan? I'm a big fan. But instead, they're like, holy shit, it's Pickering Fitness. What's up? What's happening? It's me. It's Glenn. The guy on your screen. Just kidding. I just, I've been doing that way too much. Anyways, um, this clip's two minutes and 53 seconds. But with a bunch of jump cuts, it's going to be way shorter. So, yes. Thoughts of Arnold Classic. Great time. Great connections. Maybe you'll see some, some stuff in the future happen for me. Pan out that I'm gonna look forward to. Great meeting all of you. Hope you enjoyed the video. It's 50 minutes at this moment, probably 45 minutes. I don't really care, you know why? Because if you really wanna watch my videos, you'll watch them. So, as I teased earlier in the video, it's time to do a little outro. Without further ado, let's get my boy Glenn on here. Hey Glenn, Glenn, do the outro, let's go. Do you fan me? Yo, peace, love, and tranquility.